Today I am going to show you how you can have one material and several colors for it. So as you see here in this example we have a lot of gummy bears which are duplicates of one of them and also all of these gummy bears have one material and some of the solution is here. So if you would have done this the, the hard and tedious way you would have chosen this gummy bear and you would have chosen the color and then for another one you will, would have pressed this number here. This is how many objects have this material so you would press this to separate the material out from this one. Then you would have one a number here. But we don't want to do that. We want to be effective in this program called Blender. So what do we do? Yeah, we have an object info node in the shader editor, which we can use. And if you want random color, as I've chosen to, to do here, I don't mind uh, what color each are, just that they are different and are matching the gummy bear color that uh, is here in real life. And what I've done is I have evenly separated out the colors and also for constant, no, no other than constant to have, have this separated uh, as this. And it's 0 here, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6 and 0.8. So they are, oh, not 0.8, <laughs> sorry, like this. So it's even and they will be evenly distributed. Maybe not for this small amount, but for 1000, for example, you will have uh, 200 of each. So that's one way to do it. Another way to do it, if you want more control, is actually, let's just, this is random. So let's just plug this out. Everything is green. But you can take object index and you can plug it into a multiply or map node. Because this gives uh, from uh, zero to however many. So I will show you here in this um, pane is that relations. You have one, uh, one tab here, relations, and you have pass index. So you can put this, for example, to zero. So let's just plug this into color now. And we have the object index is this number. And you have to multiply it by 0 0.1 because this color ramp go goes from 0 to 1. So you have to divide it by 10 or multiply by 0 0.1 to get what you want. So here I put the colors in. So from 0 uh, we have red color and this color is below 0 .0, 0 0.1. So if I press this to 1 it will become yellow. And the green color here is below 0 0.2. It's everything below will get it to match with 2, so it's green. And the white one or champagne one is less than 0 0.3. So if I put 3 here, it will become champagne colored. And also this orange will be below 0 0.4. And if I change this to 4, it's orange. And if I keep on pressing, it will be orange because I have no more here. So if you want to do this even further with maybe 100 colors, if you, if you want to go that deep, you can, for example, put this to 0 0.01 and you will be able to do 100. And that's basically it for this video. I hope it was useful. Thank you for watching.